Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a stored procedure um, with PHP MyAdmin. Some people have been having problems uh, getting those to install properly, and we're going to do it by hand instead of the uh, the way I showed in the instructions. Um, and as you can see here, I have the two. Oh, I have two tables. One is from the previous version of uh, the GPS tracker, and here I have three uh, three routines, or actually they're called stored procedures, but here they're called routines. And what you want to do first is you want to open up your SQL file that came with the GPS tracker download. And I'm just going to cut and paste one of the stored procedures. So I've got it here, grabbing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on SQL. Uh, that'll take a moment. I have this on a hosting provider. And uh, I'll explain a little bit about PHP MyAdmin and stored procedures. Um, as most of you know, um, SQL, uh, MySQL on hosting providers, uh, the version that you usually see is version 4, and that does not have stored procedures. Um, I chose to use stored procedures here just basically because it was easier for me uh, to get it going. Um, in the corporate world where I've done most of my programming, um, stored procedures are very common. It's just one of the tools. So I do recommend that you learn stored procedures uh, and uh, we'll, we'll go from here. Okay, the, the window has now opened. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the stored procedure and if you look at the SQL file you'll see uh, it's got a lot of extra stuff in here that we want to get rid of. The first thing I want to get rid of, rid of here is the definer. Delete that. Now I have uh, create procedure and PRC delete route. Um, we've gotten rid of that middle part there. The next thing is is go down to the bottom here where it says end. And we're going to get rid of all that extra stuff there also. So right now we have a stored procedure that has all the uh, extra stuff stripped off from, uh, from the SQL dump. And then down here where it says delimiter, we're going to put we're going to get rid of the semicolon and we're going to put two forward slashes. So now uh, we are ready to run the run the uh, procedure, the create procedure. Click on go and we'll take a moment here. And as you can see, it says your your SQL query has been executed successfully. And you can see here it it, it shows it again and once again it shows it down here where you can go and um, do editing if you need to, but we don't need to. So I want to click on structure and if we take a look down here under the routines you can see that PRC delete route has been added and what I want to do is I want to click on the this little uh, edit um, thing here, edit, edit uh, image and um, I want to show you what the routine looks like uh, now that it's been added to the database and uh, using PHP MyAdmin. It's, it's changed and uh, it's worth taking a look at. And here you can see that um, it's added uh, stuff back in there, drop procedure. It's added its own definer back in. Uh, and down here at the bottom, uh, we see that the, de the, de the delimiter has been uh, saved there so it just adds all its stuff back in properly and I think that where people were having problems was basically with this definer and with this delimiter down at the bottom uh, so that should do it um, and uh, thank you very much for using the, the GPS tracker